Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Zombie Days. So, um, yeah, I just spent the whole night here and over here because I was afraid to go outside. Uh, we need better guns. At the moment, we have this nice one over here, this compound bow. And we have flaming arrows and stuff. Apparently, it seems these do do damage against, like, the iron bosses and stuff. But it's still not strong enough. If I can get, like, for example, armor-piercing rounds or my shotgun or something like that, just to do headshot dam damage to uh, different kinds of zombies. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that boss we faced, the iron one, well, let's call them mini-bosses, because apparently the bosses have been taken out. These mini-bosses, guys, are tough. And for example, the iron one, you need to do so much damage to that guy's head before it takes damage. So we either take like a pistol and a ton of 9 more ammo, or we'll just gonna use the arrows for now and hope for the best. Um, hopefully we come across uh, some more guns. We have a ton of 762, but no guns to use them. Um, I have no idea whether we can make weapons already or not. I don't think so. Pipe rifle. Okay, the pipe rifles might come in handy, but still, they're not great. Um, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, well, it's only the uh, hunting rifle and the pipe uh, rifle over here that's actually really going to do some damage for now. Short pipe shotgun. Scrap laser pistol. What? A laser pistol. But what ammo does... I think it requires laser ammo, right? But guys, we need like armor piercing rounds and slugs and stuff like that. So the, the more guns we get right now, the better. Also, apparently, um, I can do those quests. Remember, I accidentally scrapped uh, the quest and now I can't do it anymore. Just want to check here quickly. Wheel? Bicycle, we need the handlebars. If I can make a, a handlebars quickly, we can have a bicycle going. Uh, handlebars. Yes, okay, we just need duct tape, leather, and that. Let's see, we have this, we have this. Uh, please tell me we have enough stuff. We have bones. We have glue. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start quickly making glue. I don't know if I still have some glue left over here. No, I just made enough, damn it. Okay, so we need some water then. Uh, we need murky water and bones. And with this, we can make ourselves some glue. And then with the glue, we'll be able to make ourselves other stuff as well. Uh, let's make 10 for now, if I can. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to craft that for now. Uh, we do need a little bit more fuel over here. I don't know why I just don't use this chairs from the beginning. Wait, why is that not showing... Oh, it shows on top. For a moment, I was like, wait, uh, that shows two minutes. That just shows one minute. I'm confused. <laughs> Guys, I'm still so used to other mods. But yeah, we need to quickly make ourselves a bike. And then we need to do other stuff as well. So let's just see if we can quickly get this done. Uh, we need that. We need mechanical parts. We only have one. How many do we need? Just one. But we also need one mechanical part for the bike itself, unfortunately. Okay, springs, we need three. I'm going to have to quickly go arrange a car. I think that's the only way we're definitely going to get all the stuff we need. But do we have a proper wrench? Not like a pipe wrench, uh, a proper wrench. Because this pipe wrench, guys, this is a weapon. We need a proper wrench. Even if it's level 1, it doesn't matter. Damn, so it seems you can't do that yet. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to do stuff that is going to take too long to do right now. So for now, we'll just put these away. Um, oh, this is miscellaneous. Remember, I wasn't, I wasn't sure why it wasn't going in all, because I just grabbed everything from there. Damn, okay, so we have a ton of concrete mix of here, guys. I need to make as many of these quest papers as possible, do as many of them as possible, and just hope for the best. Uh, let me just quickly check. Where do I get those quests again? See, this is why I'm, I doubt you can actually use it. A. Declaration of Citizenship. Yeah, okay, cool. And then you read this for a quest. Put 10 fallen citizens to rest. I wonder if you can do multiple of these at a time. If you can, that's going to be awesome. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I wonder if I, uh, if I can read them at the same time. They'll complete at the same time. It's kind of a cheat, but uh, yeah, uh, it's possible to do it. Okay, was I smelting anything? I can't remember for the life of me. No, okay. So for now, we're just going to keep on killing, guys. We're just going to have some fun. Um, it is almost time for the horde, but we are not going to face the horde head on. There's no way we're strong enough yet to be able to do that. Uh, especially with the bosses and stuff in this game, it's going to be a nightmare. So I'm just going to try and see if we can't just keep looting. Um, hopefully, we can kill every zombie we come across. 
And hopefully we don't waste too much ammo. I need to get used to what kind of zombies are there. I know there's spiders and big snakes and stuff. Okay, and also we need explosives. Oh, this one over here. How do you do it? Oh, please tell me that's two now in a row. Yes. Kill any zombies. Guys, this is uh, this is actually cheating basically because you can do all of them at the same time. But if you kill one zombie, it registers on all 10 of them. Let me just quickly test it. Uh, test that theory while killing this one zombie over here. Damn, I really wish that I would have had the bicycle ready, but unfortunately we need a few parts that we just don't have right now. But hopefully by looting stuff like this, we'll come across like uh, wrenches and all that stuff as well. Okay, so that was one zombie killed. One out of ten. One out of ten. One out of... See, all of these are going to complete at the same time. So this is a nice way for you to just make sure you get all of them done. And by completing this, you should get that beginner box. Because apparently later on you're going to get a ton of pistols and stuff and those you need for another quest. It's just... Guys, this can get really, really grindy if I'm not mistaken. But you just need to pay attention. Just focus on getting the next step done. Okay, so next and down and this one of the is next. Like I said, we're just going to keep on going. Hopefully we don't come across too many bosses. Uh, because I doubt we're strong enough at the moment. But I mean, if we come across a boss, hopefully we can actually kill it. Uh, wait, what kind of ammo is this? HP. What kind of a gun takes 10 more ammo? See, this is actually why it pays to know your guns. I just don't know firearms. What is this? Towards treasure, medium difficulty. Let's just go. Okay, so we're just going to kill every single zombie we come across. And hopefully that we get what we need. We do need a wrench as soon as possible. So, yeah, I said this is going to be that place. Can I do it? We don't have a shovel. I'll, I'll just mark it as resources and I'll skip it. Because this one is the one with all the resources and there's going to be a construction workers inside. But we don't have a shovel yet. So I'm just afraid that if we attempt this one, it's not going to work out for the best. So we'll skip that house and go on to the next one. Um, and I just need to remind myself that I have not done that one yet. We can actually go for all the sand over here. And then uh, later we can go for all the cement and stone over there and we'll be set. I'm actually kind of curious to see whether these zombies have respawned. Because this is where we got that first boss. Hello? Imagine all of a sudden behind you. Oh, that would suck so bad. Okay, the MI Gone Funeral Home is bound to have some really good loot in there. So, hopefully that is where we're going to find what we need. But guys, I need to keep an eye open for bosses. While we were facing that iron boss, uh, the jumping one just came around the corner. The chromo one. I still don't know what it actually really does to you, except, like, make the vision white. Um, it says monochrome something. Okay. Uh, do we... No, we don't have any wrenches, right? I need to really seriously start getting uh, more stuff at the moment. It's almost like playing Darkest Falls and not being prepared for it. That's what this kind of feels like. You know more or less what to expect from the mod so far, but whether or not you'll be able to survive is another story. I wonder if I can actually snipe the vulture from over here. If I can snipe the vulture, I don't have to worry when I go into the roof. Okay, um... Right about here. This should do the trick. See, there he is. Okay, so if we just can... If we just play smart like this, kill all the zombies where we can, and then get, go from there. There's a final stash over there, there's a final stash over here. I wonder if I shouldn't do the roof first. There should only be the one vulture. There's only ever been the one vulture, so it's going to suck if all of a sudden there's something new. And then we just have to wrench or just loot all of these as we go. Unfortunately, since you can't wrench them yet, this is going to be a nice way for us to get the mechanical parts. Because as you guys saw, we need mechanical parts to do what we need to do. Unfortunately, we don't have the wrench, so we can't scrap stuff. So we'll just have to rely on looting. I wonder how many people know of this sealed crate over here. It's only like an alpha or two ago that I actually found out this was here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to destroy this just in case there's something on the other side. It might be like a weapons bag or something. It's going to suck if they all of a sudden added like a secret zombie on top or something. There's never any vultures on this side, right? I'm going to hate it all of a sudden that spawns in. Okay, now. This is where we might get a boss. I have no idea... What's going to happen right now? Uh, let's just turn off our helmet light. 
I need to actually wear the Lucky Ludo goggles instead of night vision goggles. No, okay, there's one to the left. And one to the right. Nice. I love it when they're too dumb to kill the frame over here. Oh no, he's going for the frame. He's definitely going for the frame. Uh, this zombie is way more clever than any zombie I've faced so far. Usually they don't stray the frame, they just jump on the frame. Thank you. I just need to be careful that zombies from down below don't all of a sudden surprise me. See, where did her body go just now? I should have been able to loot her, but she wasn't here. Okay, come on. Tire iron, no thank you. I need actual weapons, like ranged weapons. Especially an AK. An AK would be awesome right about now. Oh, you know what? I should actually see how many skill points we have. Because we might be able to spec into looting. Let's see, let's see. Uh, No, no, no. Lucky looter. What do we need for this? Perception level 2. Oh, we don't have any skill points. Okay. I just need to get used to what, where we are and what I, what I have and have not done yet so far in the game. Nail board. Power attack damage 99. What the hell? So this thing is a... Ma it's like a sledgehammer. Damn. But the rest of the stuff I should be able to actually scrap. Hmm. It might actually come in handy as melee weapons. But at this stage, I really don't care about those. Oh, I just realized I don't have any bandages. But I mean like proper healing bandages. I have this. But nothing to heal myself with. So if we get caught off guard, we are screwed. Especially with all the bosses in this place. I'm actually surprised that at day one, you can get already get that many bosses on you. But it's actually fun. It's kind of... It's, it's a change of pace. Not knowing what, uh, when to expect what. Bottle cap. Okay, so we just do this to make sure no one gets in on us. Okay, you're awake. Let's see what you do. Are you going to be like a friend that goes for the frame? Or are you going to be dumb and jump on top? Please jump on top. Yes! See, this is what they usually do. I don't, know, I don't know why they do it. But if they do that, then you don't have to worry about them breaking frames and you're safe. Okay, that's close. That was way too close for comfort. I should probably close that behind me as well, just in case zombies come from outside. And then while we're here, we can make as much noise as possible. I don't care if the zombies on this side hears us because they still have to break through the door. Come on, I need something good. This is actually a very nice way to get some ammo by going for these coffins. Shotgun ammo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, the more shotgun ammo, the better. Especially since this is our main gun right now, guys. We need to make sure we always have it reloaded. I don't know if you're supposed to read that from your belt. It doesn't specify, so I just read it from wherever. Hello. Yeah, there's a crawler over there. Other than that, what's what? What's where? Uh, there's definitely something outside that sounds really creepy. I'm just going to close the doors behind me. Okay, you're not fast. You're just walking. Guys, we need to get used to using melee again. For too long, I've just been using my guns and weapons and stuff. So now that I'm actually back to me using melee, it's actually rather a big change. Wait, what the hell is this? Please don't tell me that's a boss. I, I don't mind killing any of them as long as there's no boss. Hello, guppy, guppy, guppy. Okay, some of these guys are not bootable, I've noticed. At least some of them are, but you just need to pay attention to which are and you know, which are not. And you need to get used to that timing. Every time they stumble, every time they dodge and bob and weave. There you go. Thank you. It seems all the normal zombies, doesn't matter what variant, um, they all have a loot box. It's the ones that are new, like the guppies and stuff, that have a higher chance of not being lootable. But at least they drop stuff, so... Yay, I think. Come on, give me something awesome. I wonder if I should go for leveling. If I get, like, the, um, the intelligence glasses, should I use them or not? 
By that I mean, should I level up fast to get that 10% XP boost? Or should I rather go for loot? Like little goggles and stuff like that. Is he gonna suck it? Oh wait, is this the one with the invisible zombies or... See guys, I'm playing three mods at this stage. So I'm getting confused as to which one's which again. I think the invisible zombies are... In the other mod. There's also bosses in this one, so there might be... It might be possible there's invisible ones in this. I hope not, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, come down. Okay, I need to remember we can still loot uh, coffins uh, in the front. And then I should probably also, while I have my shovel, this is too little to not uh, to leave uh, leave behind. If this was any more, I'd leave it and just mark it on the map. But since it's just like two stacks, let us get it. Also, I need to be careful, guys. Since bosses can be roaming, any noise we get outside might potentially be a boss. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, mechanical pots. Oh yeah, we also need the thought iron pipes, right? It's a shame that we don't get springs from these. That's a real shame. Okay, so the vulture is dead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what's on this side of here? Just a normal zombie, I think. Guys, we need to be careful of spiders. These normal zombies, I don't care about anymore. Well, except if I run out of stamina. Uh, but yeah, it's the no it's the spiders and like the snakes and stuff that I'm really scared of. And even just wolves. Any wildlife that's faster than me right now. And they can tank a hit. Okay, this one is done. Nice, thank you, thank you. Um, oh yeah, but, but what I meant by the front ones, guys, for those of you who don't know, with this pure eye, if you break this middle one, just above that black block, you can actually loot the loot boxes in the final stash. So if you don't plan on looting this whole place, just break through here. This is where the final stash is. Man, I'm so tempted to go down there. I know if I go down there, we will we'll get like a ton of resources. But since that's a military play installation, I just have this feeling there's going to be a boss. Or a mini boss. Guys, from now on, if I say boss, just know I mean the mini bosses. Uh, because apparently, I don't know if I understood wrong, but apparently the bosses are a thing of the past. There's no more bosses. Which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to... If the mini bosses are this tough, I wanted to see what the big bosses were. Unless you meant these bosses, these small ones are also taken out. That kind of suck. So then I wouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't upgrade or restart my game for fear of losing out. Okay, that's the farmyard over there. With the silo. There's a zombie bear over there, so we're definitely not going to be looting that one. We're also just going to be marking at resources. I'll know once I get closer to it. Oh yeah, it's this kind of resources. Because there's a ton of mine workers, utility workers over there. So that's a nice place to get some resources. I'm trying not to run too much so we don't run out of stamina. Guys, it's really tough. It's so easy just to run. Okay, um... Ooh. It's better than what we had already. Nice. Trap gas flammable. I'm gonna keep that and this is no sell price. We might have been actually able to go and scrap that one for resources, but at this stage, I really don't care about stuff like that. I just want to survive. Guys, every time you come into a big backyard like this, just be careful of dogs. Especially if you see a dog house. The chance of there actually being a dog is way higher. Oh, it's this place with a bug texture. Oh no, they changed the texture. Now, this is the bug texture. Those of you are wondering what I'm talking about, every time the uh, game bugs out, like a texture bug, uh, this thing pops up. I don't know why it's just that texture, but yeah, that happens. Hello, copy, copy, cop, bold cop. Okay, nice. The final stash, if I'm not mistaken, is on this side. I need to be careful of uh, bosses and stuff. I should technically, every time I come across something like this, be using the frame trick. Just make sure that I destroy the stuff like this, place the frame, and then zombies shouldn't be able to get to me. Shouldn't being the operative word. Do that. Okay, I wonder if I destroy this. Do I get any springs, or does it, does it have to be a wrench? It seems it has to be a wrench. That kind of sucks. Okay, so there's a safe over here. How many lockpicks do we have on us? Only three. Oh, that sucks. I don't think at the moment we'll be able to break the safe open, but it's worth a try. There might be some guns and stuff in here. So why not try? 
I'm always just standing at an angle, guys, because this way you can at least see if a zombie attacks. Whether it be the swing of the arm or the actual head to the body, but yeah, you, you can actually tell that there. And then I also need to see how many more zombies I need to kill. It says put fallen to rest for... Okay, I've done it. So after this, I should actually quickly technically go to the trader and hand in, because I'm going to get all those rewards. And then I'm going to see if it actually works this way, because I completed all the quests together, but do you get separate rewards or can't you fool the system that way? Okay, now this is a little bit differently designed. Usually the final stash should be through this door over there. So I'm guessing the final loot's in the roof or something. Because that safe just now definitely was not the final stash. And the more we loot like this, the better, guys. Because I just got a ton of shotgun shells just like that. Remember, we used most of our shotgun shells against the bosses. I can't believe I missed that many shots. I think if I did more headshots and I didn't panic that much, I would have done way better. But guys, I panicked. Okay, uh, let me just do this. And this. This way, if something comes, we'll at least hear them break the wood. Wait, is this the second time we've looted a place like this in this mod? I'm just going to assume it is because it feels... I think there's a screamer. Last time we went when a, play a place like this, there was a screamer that side. And this is just very, very similar. Let's just see what this is. A cop. I just need to make sure that I know I can actually take it. I just look close the doors. I'm not going to take any chances of zombies just popping up. Especially if you think, ah, I can do it. No wonder. No worries. No wonder. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're going to go from this room and then we're going to move on. We need to make sure that we clear from his, uh, from one side. We don't want to get caught by a zombie off guard. Ooh, we can't place a frame there. So there's going to be a zombie, right? No? Okay, cool. If there's no zombies, at least it gives me a chance to level up and gain some more resources. Obviously, you don't want to not face zombies because we need to get some XP going. I'm just going to pick these up just in case there's something behind them. Um, only the ones that we can sell, I'll keep, uh, I'll hold on to. Do this, thank you. Guys, you need to be careful. Zombies can hide around the corners. Um, you can look up there and all of a sudden it's down here by your feet. Especially when they spawn in late. I hate it when that happens. Look up. Look down. <laughs> Especially down, guys. If the floor looks a bit weird, like the texture looks a bit off, watch out. The floor might cave in. If I'm not mistaken, we're supposed to go upstairs. What's that over there? I just hope there's no boss back here. That sounds like a spider. Is that a, zomb a spider zombie? Come on, John. Be careful. I don't want to draw the attention of too many zombies at the moment. So I'm trying to be as stealthy as, or stealthy as possible. But yeah, uh, stealth isn't really my thing. Well, then again, we did a whole series on stealth, but that was in Darkest Fools' insanity mode. And that wasn't actually really the same thing. That was a little bit cheating because, I mean, I'd used the one by one block trick. Okay, come on, break that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break it, break it, break it. I know you wanna. And thank you. Ooh, level up. Okay, so with this level up, we should go for perception. Because I need to get better loot, better quality loot. I know there's other stuff that I really should be paying attention to as well. But guys, we need to be able to get the best weapons, the best gear. Okay, so that leads outside. That's locked. This leads to a bathroom. Wait, was there an upstairs to this place except for the um, attic? I don't think so, right? No. Okay, so it's just the attic of uh, the garage over here. Now we need to be careful. There might be a boss or two or a zombie or two hiding behind those boxes over there. They love hiding behind boxes and you never know until it's too late. Okay, I should technically quickly get these panels over here. Um, I don't know how much cobble and stuff's in the roof, but for now we're just going to focus on grabbing these. And I need to be careful. I can't just afford to use power attacks. Get close to there and all of a sudden realize, oh no, that was a mistake.
Okay, cool. Ooh, my heart, my heart. I think I was once in this PRI in a Darkest Fools game. I can't remember if it was this um, house per se, this PRI. But guys, there was like a wandering horde with a uh, uh, killer bear and everything outside. I was running out of ammo. And yeah, it was looking bleak. The bear was actually starting to break through here. And I had to kill him with melee before he broke through. If I'm not mistaken, he took like one swing and then he just died. So it was that kind of a... Whoo, relief. Okay, come on. Give me resources. I have no idea what we're going to use the scrap for though. I need to get back to the trader before nightfall just in case. But everything so far is looking good. Please, 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 please. I need to take that off those glasses. For some reason, every time I use my night vision goggles. What if I can get you safety over here? Every time I use my night vision goggles, what ends up happening... Is that, um, well, oh no, I, I'll try and uh, shut off my normal glasses and then the night vision goggles get in the way. I can't afford for that to happen. Oh, but we could do this, although it's daytime, so it looks kind of too bright in here. That's kind of unfortunate. So for now, I'd rather have the glasses on than off. But I need to be careful, there might be a boss up here as well. The nurse isn't that bad. But guys, remember, this place is ideal, especially in the beginning of the game when you don't have weapons and stuff. Just do what I'm doing. Crouch in the corners of here, because the zombies really struggle to... They might hit you once or twice, but they really, really struggle to hit you with these PIs. Basically, they get stuck in the quarter block or in the uh, frame block of here. And yeah, they can't do anything. They, they have to break the block above you to do damage to you. Okay, this one, let's use a steel arrow. I'm just afraid I might not kill her with the first shot. I mean, I have no idea where other zombies I might come from. The nice thing is when you're crouching, unless you can actually see feet on the other side. And then, yeah, I think there might be a zombie around the corner over there. So I'm just going to run. And if there is one, at least, like I said, we can just duck and hide in the ramp over here. careful be careful i'd rather be careful and play it safe than die especially since we've uh, gotten that close to dying already just from the damn bosses or mini bosses no 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 no, not that one. Oh, lucky little goggles thank you finally and this one is run speed plus 10 percent it's not that great with like heat regulation but other than that guys we're gonna be cruising now i need to be able to make sure that i can run away from any zombie or any boss that chases me right now Okay, um, I should also try and see if I can't scrap stuff over here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I actually want to scrap, but I'm not sure if I can right now. Or rather, to be more accurate, can afford to right now. I have a Molotov as well. Where are you? There's a crawler over here. Yep. When I heard him, but I didn't see him, I knew. Okay, and then scrap. Where's that book? Where'd the book go? There you go. Okay, so those are the perk books. I have no idea whether you should read them from the belt. I didn't see anything about uh, it saying a belt when I read it last time. Um, yeah, I might be reading all of these and not really getting the effects from them. But it's dumb that you have to read it from your tool belt when you don't have to read anything else from your tool belt. Look at this. Purple. Purple, purple, thank you. That's way better than what we have already. And untouched. Nice. The more safes we don't have to open ourselves, the better. This is a level 4 blunderbuss. Nice. We okay, add a level 3. Remember that was like, oh, cool. I wonder if I shouldn't do this, though. We're going to modify this one quickly. W. Take that off. And then we're going to put the yellow one and the green one on us. Because then we have three shotguns, basically. Two shots, a uh, third shot, a fourth shot. And then the, the only problem with these are the uh, really, really slow repair times or... Repair times, uh, yeah, repair times and reload times, especially the reload times. I wonder if there's anything else I might be able. Oh, I thought that's a Molotov. Damn. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay, we're almost encumbered, so I wonder if I shouldn't start dying my stuff as well. That is a nice way to just, uh, just get rid of some space over here. You don't have to worry too much. This one's gonna sell 400, 300. Nice. 
Uh, this one has no sell price. I don't know why they're hating on that painting. For some reason, you can't sell it at all. I wonder if it's one of the developers and they're just... Uh, it's like an inside joke or something. Okay, so, uh, next is this one. No, let's do next and right. Next and right. And then we're going to go to the trader quickly. I want to make sure we get there before nightfall because we have uh, quite a few of these papers to hand in. Which way, which way, which way? That way. I wonder if it's going to be fast running through the place. No, I don't think we can actually get out from over here, can we? Oh, we can. Nice. Thanks to the other zombie that actually tried to get in over here. But you guys, we need to be so careful. The problem at the moment is we don't have the gear to fight at night. I want to be able to walk around at night and kill zombies as they come for me. Um, I just have this feeling this is still early game. It's just going to get harder and harder and harder from here. Which I actually kind of enjoy. I hope it stays that way. But for now, the problem is we can't do anything at night except like building or some, uh, stuff like that. Because I'm just too afraid of dying. Especially if these bosses are just wandering around in the middle of nowhere. And that's just a normal zombie. Do we have any stamina drinks on it? Yeah, there you go. But I am encumbered by four items. So if I scrap four items, we should be golden. But... If I can sell those items, that's going to be even better. Okay, stamina out. I, would, I actually want to see, should we stay with our own PI over here and just expand on it? Or should I make my own one? Especially, you guys, I don't know uh, who of you actually watched my Apocalypse Now stream. Uh, so far, we've done two streams in that series. I couldn't, unfortunately, last weekend. I couldn't stream. I just couldn't do it. Um, stuff came up, but the defense we used in the second stream really works. Like, I mean, it really, really works. We, we used a trader, and basically we used the traders inside as a invisible point for the zombies, so they couldn't see us. And it worked so well, because it stopped the zombies from vomiting at us, while also giving us time to just kill them. Whoa. I think it was from all the quests saying, oh, you're there. But now the problem's going to be, I must make sure before I talk to the trader, we're not too encumbered. Because if we get a ton of rewards from the trader, we're going to fill up too much, and we won't be able to grab everything. Come on, stamina. Okay, so first, food and water. Food's not doing great, so we can eat that one. Can goes over there. Oh, yeah, we don't have food poisoning here. Nice. I wonder when the fun pimps are actually going to introduce, introduce that into vanilla, where you can't afford to eat stuff like that because you're going to get sick. Okay, so this should be enough space, and we should be able to sell a few things afterwards. You can read that one as well, to just get it out of our inventory. But let's just quickly talk to the trader. Hopefully we get all 10 rewards. Please, 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 please. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're going to start selling stuff as well. We can't afford to be this encumbered while running back. Uh, The mods do not sell... Ooh. They actually sell pretty well. But I'm going to keep that for now. Just, uh, just in case we need it later. There was other stuff on me that I really wanted to try and sell. No sell price. No sell price. Damn. The stuff I wanted to sell is all useless. So what I can just go do now is I can make sure that I scrap those for some resources. Okay, but yeah, these we're going to read and do other quests and stuff with. But apparently you need these citizen cards at a stage to make another quest. Like intermediate and expert level quests. But we're going to go well, back. Let's really go open up these crates. I really want to check what's in them. Oh no, you know what? Cliffhanger. <laughs> See you guys next time. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the base. I'm just going to put our stuff away. And the next episode, we'll open up all these boxes and check what goodies we got from these quests. Now that we know this works, we can just keep on... Guys, we can do 20 of these quests. As long as we have the inventory space. We just have to go kill zombies and we can basically farm this quest. I'm guessing at this stage they can actually go and patch that because that is kind of cheating. But you're doing the work. You're killing zombie after zombie so you're getting basic re rewards. Um, I'm guessing it's not going to be the greatest of rewards. But just that smallest of chance for something good. Something can help you. Guys, if we had an automatic weapon or a sniper rifle right now, that would be awesome. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please leave it, uh, please leave a, uh, like and share with your friends. Guys, if you have any tips and comments, if you've played this mod way more than I have, because, yeah, I haven't played this mod in so long, and even then it was just a touch, I just touched it. 
Uh, but yeah, if you have any comments for me or any tips, helpful tips, tricks, hints, anything, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.